everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! <laughs> I got back from Japan a few weeks ago and I've had all of the stuff that I bought sitting on our coffee table for weeks <laughs> because I really really wanted to film this video but I just haven't had time and I didn't want to pack anything away until I filmed the video. So poor Sam and Dan have been trying to play Xbox while looking over a pile of Sanrio stuff. <laughs> so I'm very sorry to them <laughs> for that. If you haven't seen my Harajuku haul, definitely go check it out after you watch this because I bought so many cute clothes there. This haul is mostly random knickknacks and trinkets and coin purses and bags and things like that. But clothes, if that's what you want. I am going to show you a few items of clothing back here. But most of the clothing that I bought came from Harajuku, so go check out that video. This video is mostly cheap things that I bought around Japan. A lot of this stuff came from dollar stores, but there's a few things from the Sanrio Gift Gate and the Pokemon Center, Universal Studios Osaka, and just, just some random little knickknacks that I got around the place. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the things that I got in Japanese dollar stores. Now there's a whole bunch of different dollar stores in Japan. There's Daiso, of course, and then there's all these ones too, and there's more, and they're everywhere. They're in shopping centers, train stations, bus centers, small shopping centers, big shopping centers, airports, they're everywhere. You can't escape the Japanese dollar store when you're in Japan. The first day that I went into one, which was I think on my first or second day in Japan, I went crazy and I bought so much stuff and I was like, oh whoops, I basically filled up half of my suitcase. And the funny thing was I And the funny thing was I only spent $30 or something. The products that you find in Japanese dollar stores are amazing. I'm not kidding, the quality is so good and most of the stuff is official licensed merchandise. Come here. Hang on. If you're new here, this is Archie, he's my feathered son. If you don't like birds or you don't like bird noises, then you should leave now because he's not going to stop screaming and I'm not going to put him away before you complain about the bird. Just watch this. Now you try and tell me that you don't want the bird to be in the video. Hmm? The stuff that I got from the dollar store is all kind of mixed up together, so there'll be things in here from Daiso and then things from other dollar stores, and I don't quite remember where each of it individually came from, but I can tell you for sure that all of this stuff was the equivalent of one US dollar. And if it wasn't one US dollar, it was one dollar fifty. So let's have a look. The first lot of stuff is in this little bag. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell from on camera, but this is a little twin stars bag. It's like a mesh bag, and I think that it's actually meant to be a laundry bag, but I just used it to keep absolutely everything that I was buying in. So the first thing that I got is, this is, goodbye. This is a little Twin Stars booklet slip thing. I don't know what to describe it as, but it's basically got two plastic sleeves, and I was using it to carry my passport in. I was putting the front page and the back page of my passport in there, and it's really, really cute. It's just made of this kind of like matte material. It's so nice. This is official licensed Sanrio stuff. Like this isn't fake stuff that you get from Wish. This is like real Sanrio products and they were so cheap. All of this is a dollar, remember? I also got a little Twin Stars notebook. See? These are so cute. These are almost like gift bags, you know, party bags for lollies and stuff when you have a party or like if you want to send someone a gift. So it's a bag with little twin stars print on the back, but then it's got this sort of plastic slip that you can put things inside. So I reckon if you had like an online store and you were selling pins or something, or if you were giving people gifts, these are so nice. And I wish that I'd bought more of them. I can't believe that I only bought one pack, but I absolutely love this. So when I do my giveaway, if you see my Harajuku haul, you'll see that I'm giving away a whole bunch of stuff that I bought in Harajuku. So I'm probably gonna send some of those out in these cute little Twin Stars slip bags. I got this little Twin Stars sort of duffel purse. I was using this to carry my passport in sometimes and also to carry loose change and to carry notes and sometimes I used it to carry my camera lens. That was adorable. I wish that I'd got more of those too. 
I couldn't believe this. They even had, this is in Daiso, they had Little Twin Stars makeup remover wipes. This is a small packet of them, but they also had a big packet as well. So I'm pretty sure that this says, yeah, they're makeup removing sheets for eye makeup and used with eyelash extensions. So if you have eyelash extensions on, these are suitable. It says there's two packs and there's 10 sheets in each. So these were kind of like a mini pack. I might actually take them out of here. So they're mini packs of makeup remover wipes. But they also had big packs too, which I bought. You can also buy this. And this is just a little, it's got a sticky pad on the back of it. And you're just meant to stick it there. You know, so you can pull the makeup remover wipes out and then reseal it. So that's a little Twin Stars, like, lid, I suppose. And they also had those lids in a whole bunch of different designs too. They had Hello Kitty and Good Etama and My Melody and everything. And speaking of My Melody, there's a little My Melody card case. So that's just full of a whole bunch of plastic sleeves for your different cards. Now I'm definitely going to be keeping that one in my wallet. I got this little Twin Stars, I don't even know what this is really meant for. It's just like a little acrylic container with a screw off lid. And that's got a cute Kiki and Lala design on the lid. I fell in love with that. It's really, really sturdy plastic too. I feel like if this was in Muji or something, you'd be paying a fair bit for it, not just a dollar. Oh, I, have, I never even opened it. Look, it's got this little thing on the inside. It's got a little paddle and then like a pull tab. See? So I actually think that what this is for is scooping in your favorite cosmetics products. So maybe using it for your favorite moisturizer or something like that to carry in your handbag. That's adorable. Archie, what are you doing? He's just upset because I haven't given him anything to chew on. Here, take this. What's that? Wow, isn't that great? Okay, there's some more little Twin Stars acrylic containers. So these ones, have a little Twin Stars design on the side, like that. That's actually sort of inside the plastic. Okay. Here you go, what's that? What's that? So these are just storage containers and they're acrylic and they've got a little lid. So I got two that size. I also got a long one as well. This one didn't come with a lid, but it does fit these directly on top. They're made to stack. And now that I'm back in Australia, I really, really, really regret the fact that I didn't buy more of these because these are so sweet. I feel like I could have built an entire tower out of these. I can't believe I didn't. It's not fair. I always look back and I regret so much. I just got some pastel hair ties. Couldn't help myself. I mean, I think these were 50 cents, so I absolutely love them. And Archie also likes these sort of things, so he can hold that for us. I got a little Twin Stars whiteout, whiteout tape. That was from Daiso. This was also from Daiso. This is a Hello Kitty lid for your water bottle. So it's like a universal size and it screws on top of basically any standard water bottle and it's got Hello Kitty on it. And then it's kind of got like a sucky lid and I didn't realize that at the time. I thought that it was like it was closed in the packet when I bought it and I thought that it was just going to open to be a normal drinking thing, but it's got like a sucky thing on the top. So I'm a little bit put off by that. So I think I'm just gonna keep this one on my Hello Kitty shelf. I also got these Hello Kitty lollies. These are just sugar lollies. And they're basically just sugar that tastes like melon, strawberry, and pineapple. I was so excited about these. I'm gonna use these for a little DIY project that I'm working on and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So these are Hello Kitty molds. So there's a whole bunch of different types. There's these ones that just have Hello Kitty's head and some bows and some hearts. So I got two lots of those, but there was also these, which are basically meant for making lollipops, but I have a really good DIY idea for these using like acrylic. And then there were also these ones where Hello Kitty is holding the love heart and doing some cute stuff. I'm gonna use resin and glitter. And if you've ever seen Dreamy Craft Shop on Instagram, I'm gonna try and do what she does but I'm gonna try and use these little Hello Kitty molds. I'm not sure how it's gonna go because I know that silicon molds work a lot better and these are just plastic. They're really only meant for chocolate. So I'm gonna use them first for chocolate and then wait a little while and then later down the track, I'm gonna try and do it with resin. I couldn't believe it when I found these. These are so, so sweet. These were from a 100 yen shop that was literally just called 100 yen store. So they're little notepads. There's a good Etama with a bacon blanket. My Melody. There's Hello Kitty. Little Twin Stars, of course, and Cinnamon Roll. And they're just 
really basic little notepads that just have the designs, a couple of different designs in them. So this one, for example, has a page like that, and then it's also got pages like that. The little twin stars one, the pages are uh, like this and like this. Hello Kitty has a, those pages are really, really cute. And then the writing pages are like that. The My Melody pages are like this and like this. And the Good Etama pages are like this and like that. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. I have no idea. I might just I might just leave them in these acrylic containers if they fit. Yeah, they do. Maybe I'll just leave them stacked up in these acrylic containers because I kind of, I don't know, I have this problem where when I buy something that's really, really cute, I just think that it's too cute and then I'll never use it. So I have a lot of things that are brand new that I've never touched in my entire life. And I feel like those are probably going to add to that collection. <laughs> they had so much stationery, Sanrio stationery. I mean, I, I could have got Hello Kitty and Gudetama and all those things that I just showed you for the notepads, but I got Little Twin Stars stationery. So I got the eraser and I also got the whiteout. I've had a lot of people asking me, why do they wear masks in Japan? Is it because they don't want to get sick? But it's actually the other way around. The Japanese wear masks if they are sick and they're very, very considerate and they don't want to get anyone else sick. So I bought a couple of masks. Now I know that sometimes, you can't have that. I know that sometimes people just wear these masks to be aesthetic. And if you do that, I mean, that's fine. But I don't, I don't do that. Like I, I kind of don't, I mean, for a start, it's really uncomfortable to wear just for the sake of wearing. But also I don't, I don't want to be like, I don't know if it's disrespectful or not, like just to wear it for fun, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't know. But anyway, like I bought these but I never wore them, uh, but I had them just in case I got sick. So this one is in the shape of Hello Kitty. And then there was also these ones that just had Hello Kitty print all over them. Kind of feel like Bane. And then there were also pink ones as well. <laughs> so I got them, but I never ever used them. So, I mean, I don't know if you have worn those sort of masks before. And if you know anything about Japanese culture, can you let me know, like, is it considered to be rude or something to just wear them for the sake of it? Or can you just do whatever the hell you want? I don't know. <laughs> Please let me know. Like, I don't want to be, I mean, I know it's not cultural appropriation or anything like that, but I don't want to like just chuck on a mask just for the sake of looking cool. And then I don't want to find out later that it's like, you're really dumb. You shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Maybe it doesn't matter at all. Like maybe you can just wear them for the sake of it and no one cares. So let me know because if that's the case, I can take some cool photos wearing them. I I'm just not sure. There's also these lollies. These are the best. I'm, I'm not, I'm not joking. They sell these in all different flavors and I was hanging on to them to show you guys. I had two different grape flavors and a peach flavor and this is a mixed berry flavor, but they, they didn't last until the video. I ate all of them in one sitting. So what you do is you just peel it open. It's a Ziploc thing, but who really needs a Ziploc sealing lolly bag when you're going to eat them all in one session? And here's what they look like. They're really unusual because they kind of feel like grapes because they've got the skin on the outside, but then on the inside, they're like oozy and soft and it literally looks just like a grape. And when you eat it, the texture is like a grape. It's got real fruit mixed with the lolly and the gelatin and all that. And they're just, words can't begin to explain how good these lollies are. The bags are really distinctive. Just keep an eye out, it's this interesting shape. So if you're in Japan, look out for these and buy them, buy the hell out of them. Fill up a suitcase with them. I also got this cute chopstick container that has some really, really sweet chopsticks with strawberries on them on the inside. And I really like eating with chopsticks. <laughs> I have a Japanese friend He's in his 70s, he's a family friend of ours. And when I was really, really young, I think I was like three, I was eating with chopsticks. And he said to my parents, he's Buddhist, and he said to my parents, your daughter must have been Japanese in a past life because I refuse to eat with Western cutlery. Like I, I have to eat with chopsticks. I just find them, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just uncoordinated with a, for a knife and a fork because I, everything that I eat, no matter what it is, I basically just slice it up, 
and then put it in a bowl and then use chopsticks to eat it. And I've always done that since I was young. So our Buddhist friend always tells me, he's like, you must have been Japanese in a past life. <laughs> so who knows? <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm such a weeb. Because I'm obsessed with uh, Simply Neological and I really want to make a uh, Simply Pastological video. <laughs> I bought a whole bunch of nail supplies. So I got nail polish and a little nail diamonds and nail glue and tweezers and look what you did. So I'm not sure how these are going to work, but they have peel off manicure. Ugh. These have peel off manicure written on them. They're about a dollar each. And I mean, I don't know if it's going to be actually peel off or not. Don't drop. That was a close one. But I thought I'd give it a go in a, in a nail video that I'm going to make. And I also got a, a base and top coat. And I think you guys are really going to like these. These are nail transfer stickers. But look how cute they are. There's unicorn ones and all different sort of cute candies. So I got a couple of pages like that. And then I also got these ones with the little bows on them. So I'm going to attempt to make a nail art video. <laughs> no idea how I'll go. I got little diamante thingies because I love deco nails. And I also got, these are just some pink tweezers to assist me in putting on the decorations. And then I also got some nail glue. So we'll see how we go there. I don't have my nails done today and I don't feel good about it. I always have my nails done, but the last time that I went to remove my acrylic nails to put on new ones, my natural nails were so thin underneath that it was painful. So I'm just taking a little break at the moment from acrylic nails, but I might put some extensions on or something, you know, without damaging my nails, and then I'm gonna decorate the hell out of them. I also have, this is another bag from a dollar store. This is a My Melody bag, and it's like a, a shopping bag, just a plastic shopping bag. And they had these in every single design too, like every Sanrio character you could imagine, they had those bags for. Machi, what are you doing? You're caught in my hair. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Hachi just reminded me. I also have a little Twin Stars headband. That was also a dollar. Here's some more little Twin Stars makeup remover wipes. And I've been using these. I used them all through Japan. And also now that I'm home, I've been using them. They're just the tiniest little bit coarse on my skin, but I haven't reacted to them but I do think that they're not quite as soft as other makeup removal wipes that I've used, but I just really like the packaging and they were only a dollar. I love how in Japan, they make everything cute. Everything you could possibly want, they have a cute version of it. Oh, what's that? You want some alfoil? Yeah, we got your back. We got some little twin stars alfoil. How's that? This is literally aluminium foil with little twin stars patterns all over it. And they also have Hello Kitty alfoil as well. So this is a completely red one. So if you want to wrap your sandwiches or whatever, they're going to be cute as heck. But I don't think I'm ever going to use them. I think I'm just going to put them on my shelf because I mean, seriously, that's too nice to use, right? I would, I, I feel uncomfortable at the thought of opening this and using it because it's just too pure and precious and perfect. I also got this little Twin Stars. This is a cooler bag. So it's probably for keeping drinks and stuff in keeps them cool. But I was actually using it to carry around my camera lens for a while. It's the perfect size for a camera lens. And it's got a little, you know, tightening thing like that. I also, oh no! Oh, it's crushed from my suitcase. No! I got a Hello Kitty soap dispenser. They had these in every design too. They had little twin stars, Gouda, Tama, My Melody. This was in, not Daiso, but a place that was very, very similar to Daiso, another 100 yen store. I decided to get the Hello Kitty one because I think I bought enough Little Twin Stars stuff. Speaking of, there's a Little Twin Stars lunch bag, which is this on the inside to keep things cool or keep them warm. That's really, really sweet. And the funny thing is, these, I was on Depop recently. Oh my God, guys, this is, this is it. I need to do a story time because I've been trying to buy this pair of Little Twin Stars YRU shoes that were sold at Dolls Kill. There's actually two pairs. And I bought that pair on Depop and I said to the girl, I asked her about shipping and she was like, oh, you'll have to pay for the shoes now if you want me to hold them and then I'll have to find out the shipping and I'll let you know. So I paid for the shoes and then she came back and she was like, oh, by the way, the shipping is going to be $80 to Australia. And I was like, oh my God, like I can't pay you yet. Can I pay you later? Anyway, it was like, 
I went to Japan and then it was a bit over a month later I went to pay her and she's like, oh, you never paid me so I sold them to someone else. And I said, um, can, can I have my money back? And she was like, no. And then she blocked me. And that was a whole saga and there's so much to that story and I want to tell you guys all about it. I might do a story time video if anyone wants to hear it. I'll become Tana Monjo for a day and start doing dramatic story times. But anyway, the point is I got those, I tried to buy those Little Twin Stars shoes. And while I was searching through Depop looking at Little Twin Stars things, I came across these and someone was selling them for $15 each. These cost a dollar in the Japanese yen stores. So I feel like you could literally go to Japan on a holiday, fill up a suitcase with stuff from 100 yen stores, and then just sell it and make a heck ton of money because people don't know that's only worth a dollar. You'd never think that's only worth a dollar. Like, that's a fully licensed Sanrio product. But anyway, that, that's my funny story. What are you chewing on? I also got more little Twin Stars stuff. This is just... I don't even know what you're meant to use this for. I think it's some sort of bathroom container. I'm not really sure what the point of it is, but I thought that I could use it to keep bobby pins in, uh, in the bathroom. So I got that. This is a box, Little Twin Stars box, that is specifically designed to hold the Little Twin Stars makeup wipes. So again, they had these for Hello Kitty. For every single Sanrio character, they had these. A dollar, amazing. For when you want your souls to be as cute as your soul. Gudetama insoles for your shoes. They had these in every character too. I even managed to find in a 100 yen shop Pokemon lollies. Now I haven't tried these yet, so let's try one on camera. They're, I think they're jellies. Yeah, what's that Archie? What is it? Can I figure out how to open it? Aha. Ooh, they smell really good. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, there's not very many. But they have a different Pokemon on each one. See? I kind of feel like I don't want to eat them. This is another sort of thing that I just want to keep forever and ever until they expire and then I'll just keep them on a shelf. There's it. I think there's one for every starter. These are the newest generation. So I don't want to eat Litten. I don't know, no, no, who, which one am I gonna open? I wanna open the legendary. I don't remember his name because I haven't really played the latest gen. I'm completely up to date up until this generation. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was grape flavor. And that jelly was a really, really strange consistency. It was really soft. Like as soon as it went into my mouth, it, it basically broke apart. That was amazing. And I don't know if I'm gonna eat the rest of them because they're just too cute. Ah, maybe I'll just put them back in their packet and just keep them forever. I think that's probably the best idea. I also got these. Now I completely finished a packet of these already. I had four. But these are little Twin Stars sugar lollies. So basically what these taste like, they're individually wrapped and they just taste like sugar, like 100%. If you've ever had sugar cubes to put in your coffee, that's what those are. It's just sugar. But the packaging is really, really sweet and I feel like I'm just gonna stick them on a shelf. Another thing that I'm not gonna eat. I couldn't believe that I found these in a 100 yen shop. These are pencil cases. There's a Hello Kitty pencil case and there's a Little Twin Stars pencil case. And those pencil cases are double-sided as well. So the cute patterns are on both sides, so it's cute no matter how you look at it. They had these for every character too, and I was highly tempted to just fill up an entire basket full of them. But this was my first day, by the way, that I bought all of this stuff. So I kept thinking to myself, no, I have to wait. Like, I can't buy everything now, I have to wait. And the last thing that I got from 100 yen stores was a whole bunch of socks. You should uh, leave a thumbs up on this video if you like cute socks, right? Because look at these. So there's a gradient, blue to purple. They're really sweet. I got three different types that have daisies on them. And I feel like I'm never going to wear them because I just want them to remain perfect and pure. And then this one was also a pastel rainbow. And they are all a dollar for each pair. I don't know if they're going to fit me very well because they're made more for Asian feet rather than my gigantic size 41 feet. But I'm sure they'll stretch so it'll be okay. That's everything from the 100 yen stores. Now, aside from there being adorable things in 100 yen stores, 
There's also stores that are aimed kind of towards like kids in school, but if you're like me and you just absolutely love character products, then it's totally fine to shamelessly waltz into one of those kids stores and buy a whole bunch of stuff. Because for some reason in these kids stores, they sell proper purses, right? So this is a little twin stars purse with room for credit cards in a kid's shop. So that makes me think no child is gonna be running around with credit cards. So it's completely fine for a woman of 24 years old to go into a kid's store and buy these cute things. They had the most gorgeous purses. I cannot begin to tell you there was a purse or two or three different purses for every single fandom you can possibly imagine. Look at this. It's built, it's made so incredibly well. I can't even begin to explain to you the quality of this. Now this one, like I said, it wasn't a 100 yen shop. This is like more of a pricey sort of store. This purse was not leather but it was $30 and it took me five years to buy one of these I've been to Japan five times and I always see these beautiful if you've been to Japan you've seen these you've definitely seen these you've seen these really really nice quality purses and every time I ever looked at them I wanted one so badly but they're normally 20 30 40 50 dollars so I never got one but this trip I was like stuff it Five times! I've been thinking about this long enough. If you've been thinking about something for five years, just bloody well buy it. Just get it. Seriously. So that's why I got this. I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't think I'm ever going to use it because, like, you know, this is the sort of thing where if I start using it, it's going to get all dirty and it won't be beautiful anymore. So I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. Well, time will tell. What are you doing? In this store, they also had this Hello Kitty lip balm. And it smells like strawberry. It's not a gloss, it's just a balm. And that is beautiful and I'm always going to keep this container. Like even if I end up using up all of that on the inside, I'm pretty sure that what you can do is you can just like melt down some more and then pour it in and let it set. I've seen people do that all the time. So this little container, this was $5. So I'm gonna keep that one forever. There was this set of two things. This is a little Twin Stars hand cream and lip gloss, lip balm. And this set together of two things, I think it was $7. And this smells heavenly. Oh my God, it hurts. It hurts because it smells so good. It's just clear. I can't describe what the scent is. It's just sweet. It's just sweet. Like there's no particular fruit or anything that it smells like. It just smells sweet and delicious and you want to eat the whole thing. And it actually tastes really nice too. I mean, I, I know you're not meant to eat them, but when it's on your lips and if you lick your lips, you can taste it and it just tastes like sugar. So I'm not entirely sure what it's meant to be, but it's amazing. I also got this little Twin Stars hand cream. This I think was $6 and it's a really, really big container and it's got this beautiful lid on it. It smells like sunscreen. It smells like sunscreen. Yeah, definitely smells, it just smells like scented sunscreen. It's really nice though. I also got this, this is a little My Melody mirror and comb and you'll see these everywhere in Japan for every character. They're made so well, it's really heavy plastic and when you open it, it's got a little comb. So it's just for your handbag. And I really wanted a Hello Kitty one of these and I, it wasn't until the end of the trip that I found one, but they're about $8 maybe. So when I saw that, I got this one because it was one of the first comb mirrors that I saw. But then by the end of the trip, I found some different ones, but I'd already bought this and I didn't want to waste any more money. So I didn't buy the Hello Kitty ones, but the Hello Kitty ones are very, very cute. I also got these Hello Kitty nail clippers and these are made exceptionally well. They're really, really heavy duty and they've got that sort of, it kind, it's kind of like a container so that when you clip your nails, the nail debris like falls into this area here. So then you can just tip it out into the bin. And then it's got a really, really good file there too. It says Hello Kitty on the side of it. And then it's got a little Hello Kitty charm hanging off it too. I love those. I kind of wish I'd bought some more of them. I also got this little Twin Stars mug and I'm probably gonna keep this box and keep the mug sitting on top of the box because I have an issue with not being able to throw out packaging. I'm a bit of a hoarder. I think this was $12. So it's just a little Twin Stars mug and it's got little Twin Stars written on the handle. And it's 
it's not very big, like it's just a small one, but I don't actually tend to use any of the cute mugs that I buy. I have so many pusheen ones and I've never used a single one of them. Actually, Daniel and I have a system where when we're trying to save money, a lot of people ask me, how do you have enough money to buy all this stuff? It's because we're quite good at saving and we have really fun strategies to help us save money. So I've got all of my themed mugs like this sitting along a shelf and each one has a sticker on it. And the stickers are all Archie references. So the one that says almonds means food. So when we have spare change, we chuck it in the almonds cup and that's our sort of stockpile for if we want to eat out and have crappy food. And then we have one that's called, it's got like brackets and it says flying and or fly or something like that. And that's like travel. So if we want to go anywhere on the weekend, we have all of the coins and notes and stuff in there. And that mug is like to help us save up for if we want to go on a trip. We have a mug, Archie, Archie, no! Sorry, he was chewing on my headphones. We have a mug called Happy Boy, which is meant to be like, we call him the happy boy, you know, when he's in a good mood. So for us, happy boy, the happy boy mug is like, if we want to go watch a movie or do something fun. So anyway, I use my themed mugs to save up money. So this is going to sit on my shelf and it's going to help me collect coins for something. Maybe, maybe this one can just be a little twin stars coin mug. And all the coins that I collect in there, I end up spending on little twin stars stuff. That, that's not a bad idea. Now, don't freak out, but I also got, these are amazing. These are Totoro coin purses. So there's one for me. Well, I actually have, I've got this. This is from my friend that lives in New York. I'm gonna post it to her. This is for me. And then this one is to sit on my shelf. It's a little blue Totoro. And these, they were very expensive, I'm not gonna lie. And I actually waited until the end of the trip because I bought that one first and then I kept thinking about the other one, but they're so expensive. They were $20 each. And Daniel had a fit because I bought three of them. So that's $60 that I spent on Totoro coin purses. And that's shameful. But I mean, I never, ever, ever see anything like this. Like this is just so cute. How often are you gonna find something like this? Like you're not, I mean, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna be walking around in Australia finding Totoro coin purses every day. So that's why I was like, I'm just gonna, just gonna do it. So here's what the blue one looks like and I'm never gonna use this. This is just gonna sit on my shelf because that one's too cute. But I'm, I'm using this one a lot. And then that one's for my friend. I also got, this is my, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite purchase from Japan, I think. This is amazing. And this brand, I've only just heard of it, it's called P plus G Design. And I definitely recommend that you Google them and you try and find some stuff because all of this is by this brand. Look at this, it's silicon. Like it's that really, really nice silicon soft material. This is a little Twin Stars coin purse. And it's got a beautiful little star on the zip. It was big enough to carry my phone, my passport, a whole bunch of coins, money, lip gloss, and they had these in every design too. Everything I could possibly want, but this I think was $35. So Dan really put his foot down and he was like, Alex, do not waste money on more of those. Like get one. <laughs> but, and don't, don't get all mad with Dan and be like, oh, he can't control you. I'm very glad that he helps me sometimes. Like he sort of helps to ground me. And I feel like I would have spent a hell of a lot more money if Dan hadn't stepped in and been like, Alex, are you sure you need that? Are you sure? So I do have to thank him for that. I prefer, I really prefer that he's like that. I don't really like, I wouldn't want him to be a pushover and you know, just let me kind of waste my money on anything just so that I'm happy. Because what would really, really make me happy is being able to own a house one day. And I'm never gonna be able to own a house if I just waste money on little twin stars purses. <laughs> I also got these. This is a really, really nice brand of eyelashes. And my friend asked me to pick these up for her because she got them last time she was in Japan. So I can't really tell you how good they are, but she specifically messaged me and sent me a photo of the packet that she had. And she said, can you please buy some more? So I did. So they must be good. I also got this. This is so cool. I think this was $10. This is a Hello Kitty hard plastic box and it's for tissues or for uh, sanitary wipes. So they're in there, they're sealed. I haven't opened them yet, but you open it from the bottom to be able to refill it. So you can just put any sort of container of any sort of wipes in there, or you could put tissues in there too. And I saw this particular tissue box everywhere. I saw it in dollar stores. I saw it in the San Rio gift gate. I saw it in kids stores. So I'm really glad that I got that. I love it. I also got Archie. 
is sitting over there chewing on my things because I'm not paying attention to him. What a bad bird. What a bad bird. Do a handstand. Do a handstand, you bad bird. What a bad bird, huh? What a bad boy. Okay, all is forgiven. You are actually a good boy. That was everything that I got from those sort of somewhat expensive kid stores. Now the next lot of things that I have, I bought these on the day that we went to Universal Studios in Osaka. I actually only bought two things inside Universal Studios. There was a whole bunch of stuff that I really, really wanted to buy, but I came away with just two things. And that's mostly because the stuff that I was seeing, it was good, but it was very expensive. Obviously they mark it up because it's Universal Studios. We mostly just, oh, look at my hair. You've really messed up my hair, Archie. I have to take my hair out. Archie has completely ruined it. Yeah, so we mostly just spent money on food because I found that a lot of the stuff was extremely overpriced. I only bought two things inside Universal Studios. Okay, so the first thing, I bought this because a friend of mine sent me a photo and she said, Alex, my friend is in Osaka right now. She's at Universal Studios. Look what she just bought. You have to get one of these when you go. This is a Sailor Moon popcorn bucket bag. It's hard plastic. It comes with like a, a strap, so you can wear it as a handbag. But what they do when you buy it, they actually fill it up with popcorn for you. So we had it filled up with caramel popcorn. And then you can go up to the little popcorn stations and hand them the bucket and they'll give you a refill for a discount. This is the sort of thing you buy and you keep. This was $30. But for me, I mean, it was like, let's say $10 for the popcorn and then only $20 for the cute Sailor Moon thing. Archie, this part is rubber. So it feels really, really soft and nice. And then this is sort of like a soft matte material. And then that is obviously the shiny hard plastic. So that's how it opens. I mean, I don't think I can really use it actually as a handbag because it's a bit of an awkward shape, but it'll sit on my shelf. I have a Sailor Moon shelf, so that'll look really, really beautiful up there. I'm so happy that I got that. I don't know if they'll have this. I think it's a limited edition. So if you're in Japan over the next few months, definitely try and get to Osaka Universal. They have some really, really cool things there at the moment. I'm going to be posting a video all about our day there, but that was one of the only things that I bought. I also got this. Now, I'm not going to open this just yet. I was going to, I was going to open it, but I'm, I'm just, I'm not mentally prepared to open this yet. This is a box of cookies, but the Hello Kitty is made of some sort of like fabric. It's a hard, hard box, but the box itself is like covered with fabric. And that's just so beautiful. And the cookies themselves on the inside have Hello Kitty all over the cookies. But I, they expire in September. Yeah. Huh. Actually, how do, how do I read that date? I'm an Australian. How do I read that? It says 180908. Is that the, is that the 8th of the 9th or the 9th of the 8th? Well, anyway, that's only one month difference anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I basically have either until August or September. So I'm not gonna eat these just yet, but I'm so happy just with this box. Like I'm gonna use this box forever. Now that's all I got in Universal Studios, but when you come out the gates of Universal Studios, there's this thing, it's called like Universal Town or something like that. And it's just a whole bunch of shops and restaurants. And they had this thing called, I think it was called Mini Osaka. And it was just full of souvenirs. So I ended up spending more money in that place than I spent in the actual Universal Studios. So I got this Little Twin Stars bag. This is like a shopping bag. It's made very, very well. I think this bag was $15. It's got a couple of different pockets on the inside, like a pocket for your phone. It's also got a zipping, a zip up pocket as well. I didn't get too much stuff here, but I got these little Hello Kitty hair clips, or hair ties and hair clips. So this one, that's a Hello Kitty hair tie with a plastic Hello Kitty on it. This was Hello Kitty's bow in the form of a hair clip. And that one is another Hello Kitty bow just with a band on it. So that was $5 for that pack. I also got some different themed chopsticks and I think these chopsticks were maybe $6 each. So these ones are Sanrio chopsticks with really, really sweet little designs on them. They're clear plastic. They're not very long. I do prefer longer chopsticks. I think they're made for kids, but that's not gonna stop me. I got, oh, actually I think these, I think I might've got these from a dollar store. I don't think these ones came from that shop, but these are Gouda Tama chopsticks and they're really, really long. So I got them for Daniel. But these were also from that little Osaka shop and they're just Hello Kitty chopsticks and they were $4. 
And then this pack, I think this pack was $6. And this is a pack of Hello Kitty chopsticks as well in just different colors. So I didn't spend too much money in that shop, but actually that was a tax-free shop. So I got some of the tax back on that. The next door was the Sanrio gift gate. Now I visited three Sanrio gift gates. The first one I found in Nagasaki just by accident. I was in the store where I bought these. Um, so the somewhat expensive kids store. And I spent heaps and heaps of money in there. And then I came out of that store and literally directly in front of me was a Sanrio gift gate. So I didn't spend too much money in there because I'd actually just spent heaps of money in the kids store. But what I did get was three sets of chopsticks. These were some of the most expensive chopsticks that I bought. I think these were $10 each, but they're amazing. Look at them. They've actually got like little stones on them. You have to be very, very careful when you're washing them. But there's glitter like built into them. So they're sparkly all the way along. So there's a pink set, purple set, and a white set. And they're, to me, they're kind of like a collector's item. Like I think I'll keep them on a shelf and I might not use them for a while at least. Like these ones, they're Hello Kitty. There's the little twin stars ones, which I think are really beautiful because the little stars on the top and just the color of them, they're really, really nice. And then the other one was Hello Kitty as well. So I'm probably gonna keep them on a shelf and I don't think I'll use them for a little while. What are you doing? I also got this, I'm never gonna use this, but I just really, really liked the, the feel of it. They're very heavy. These are, it's just cutlery, like they're just kids cutlery, but I just thought they were really beautiful. Like maybe I can keep these for when Dan and I have kids one day. Like they're, they're very, solid like they are very very durable solid cutlery and they had these for every character as well but I just got the little twin stars ones to keep on my little twin stars shelf and I also got these socks these were three dollars they're just Kiki and Lala socks and you find themed socks everywhere in Japan what are you doing quit it so that's everything that I bought in that store I also what are we gonna look at next no I'm not gonna look at you I said I visited three. So that was the one in Nagasaki that I bought those things. Then I visited one in Tokyo, in Ikebukuro, when we were on our way to the Pokemon Center. But the stuff that they were selling was almost the same as some of the things that I bought in the 100 yen stores. So I didn't actually buy anything there. I found another Sanrio gift gate in Harajuku. Didn't buy anything there. But when we went to the Asakusa Tower, there was this, it's called Hello Kitty Japan. So it's not necessarily a Sanrio gift gate, but it is a licensed Hello Kitty store. And I don't actually remember what I bought here because I bought the stuff and I put it in this bag and I thought to myself, okay, I'm not gonna open it until I do my unboxing video. I'm not gonna open it until I do my haul video. So this is gonna be a surprise for me because it's been weeks since I bought this stuff and I don't remember what it is. So, ah, ha -ha. Okay, first thing. This is seaweed. So this is actually a Hello Kitty tin and it's got flavored seaweed on the inside and this is blueberry. So they actually flavored, they flavored the seaweed with blueberry. So I'm not gonna taste that one just, just yet, I don't think. Yeah, it's all sealed up. So I might actually do like a tasting Japanese foods video for that. I got, a Gudetama hand towel. Actually, Dan got this. Dan really, really wanted this. Dan likes Gudetama. I think that he relates with the lazy egg on a spiritual level. So we got that. It's a really long hand towel. We got, I collect these. These are, these are like rock lollies. So there's Gudetama. And these ones were little twin stars. And once I finish eating them, I'm just gonna keep the containers because the containers are really, really beautiful. They're metal. And I have a few of these. I have Hello Kitty and I've bought them in Australia in Asian supermarkets, but I've never seen those particular designs before. Oh, and the last thing, this is sick. I'm so excited about this. This is Hello Kitty soy sauce. Yeah, I'm not joking. <laughs> Hello Kitty soy sauce. Isn't this, isn't this just the coolest thing ever? Look. Hello Kitty soy sauce. Have you ever seen anything like that? I saw it and I screamed and I knew I had to have it. <laughs> Auntie, stop. I also got a couple of random knickknacks around the place. So when we were at the Cherry Blossom Festival in, in Aomori, I bought these. These were in a little sort of market 
and they're just little themed lollipops. So there's a Pichu, a Totoro, and a Hello Kitty. I don't know when I'm gonna eat them. I suppose I will have to eventually. They'll probably start melting, but I left them for now. I ate these, I'm sorry. I was gonna eat them on camera, but they're grape flavored Kit Kats and they're the most delicious thing you'll taste in your life and you'll probably cry. These are Hello Kitty biscuits and I just bought them for the tin. The biscuits themselves are delicious. They're like wafer biscuits with chocolate on the inside, but the tin is just really- <laughs> The tin is just really, really beautiful. I got this in Nagasaki. This is a box full of mints and it's got Hello Kitty Nagasaki written on it. I got this. Look, it's a little mini Archie. Look, wow. We bought this from a, um, they have these little coin dispensing machines and you just put in a hundred yen and you turn the knob and then it spits out a toy at you. So we saw one that was all different birds and it had blue and green and red and all different colored birds and we really really wanted the green one because it's like a mini Archie and then we got the green one so we were very happy oh no don't hurt it it's a friend it's a friend nice friend I also got this from one of those those machines this is a little squishy budgie or parakeet I think you call them in America it's a, like a squishy it's so cute you can like literally squish squish it all around the place it's so adorable but it's not sticky, but it's kind of like a, a funny material. So I just keep it in that little ball. I don't even remember what this is. Oh my gosh, this was 500 yen. I completely forgot about this. This is beautiful. This is a little Twin Stars makeup mirror for your handbag, but it's made so well. Look, it's like a double-sided mirror. Let go. How nice is that? I absolutely fell in love with that and that was only $5. This is insane. This is Sakura Liqueur and I bought one of these for my sister-in-law and one of them for me. And I don't think I'm ever gonna open it. I posted a picture of this on Instagram and I said, I don't think I should open it because it's too beautiful. It's actually got like a gigantic flower on the inside <laughs> and this beautiful, beautiful bottle and I love it so much. And I think I'm just gonna keep it on a shelf. I don't think I'm ever going to use it because it's too beautiful. What I might actually do is keep one and then next time I go to Japan, I got that at the airport. So I'm gonna try and find another one and then I'll drink one and then keep the other. <laughs> I also got some clothes. These, I think I got almost all of the clothing here from thrift stores. Japanese thrift stores are the best, not, not kidding the best. I don't think you'll ever find thrift stores better than Japanese thrift stores. I got this cardigan for $5. It's got little sort of pearl, gold pearl buttons. It is secondhand, like it's worn, but who cares? <laughs> so there's that. $5. That's such a, such a good purchase. It was just hanging out the front of the store on a rack and I was like, mine! Made a beeline for it. Didn't know how much it would be, but it was, yeah, $5. So that was great. I got this for $5 as well. This is beautiful. I'll put it on. Archie, no! You're in trouble, mister. This was from a clothing store where everything was $5. It's really, really soft. It's kind of like a fluffy, woolly material. And I think that the fit is really nice. This was one size fits all. And if you've seen my Harajuku video, you'll know that it's a little bit difficult as a Western person to try and fit into some of the clothes in Japan that are one size fits all. It might be one size fits all in Japan, but it's not one size fits all for Western people. But that was, that's probably maybe a US size two to four. I got this as well from a secondhand shop. This was $5. This is like a woolen dress. It's very, very long, see? But the color is beautiful and it was basically brand new. Like it, it felt almost, oh, sorry. Don't lay an egg. Yeah, it's basically brand new. It's really nice, I love it. And then this is the last, piece of clothing that I got. And I got this as an emergency piece of clothing because it was a lot colder in Japan than I thought it was going to be. And Dan and I went out to see the cherry blossoms and I was just wearing like a, a long sleeve, just like a standard long sleeve shirt. And it was so cold, I thought I was going to die. So I ran into a shop 
This was on sale, this was $10. Hello. Hello. And I've had so many compliments on this. It's got these beautiful ah. sleeves. So I really, really love this one. I wear it all the time now. I've worn it in so many places through Japan <laughs> for $10. I don't think you can really go wrong. It's made really, really nicely. So you find these sort of things in little stores all over Japan. You will find that the clothes in Harajuku are a fair bit more expensive than they are just in other places. So don't forget, don't spend all your money in Harajuku because you can find really, really beautiful clothes in secondhand stores and just in like cheap clothing outlets all over the place. And then... Are you right? I don't believe it, guys. We're up to the last package now. The last... You... Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, babe. Shh. Just shh. Okay, so the last package is what I got at the Pokemon Center. And this is a funny story because every time they release a new Pokemon game, or basically depending on what the latest public holiday is, they release different things in the Pokemon Center. So the most recent thing that's happened was Easter. So there's a whole bunch of Easter themed things. They had like Pikachu and Eevee Easter themed things. Obviously because the latest generation is out, there was a lot of sun and moon stuff. And I'm a really, really big fan of Gen 1, 2, and 3. You can still find those Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, but the, shh, shh. the first time that I went to the Pokemon Center, I spent about $600 and I bought buckets of stuff, like just so much. I think we had three baskets and I loved absolutely everything in the place. This time I only spent, I don't know, maybe like $20 or $30. So what's the first thing? Oh, this was a gift. They give you free gifts. This is a photo album. And it's, it's a really, really cute photo album. They just gave this to me for free at the checkout. They normally give some, some sort of free gift. I got this cute little bag. This is just a really, really simple, on the inside, it's got Pikachu. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, it's got Pikachu on the inside and then on the outside, it's got Pikachu embroidered into it. And it's just, just a cute little bag. You know, you can use it for shopping or whatever. That was $20, I think. I got Torchic socks because Torchic is my favorite Pokemon. Torchic and Blaziken are my favorite Pokemon. I just kind of ignore Combusken because that's just like the ugly sibling. I got these purple Eevee socks. They're really cute. I think these were maybe 350 yen each. And I also got some pink Pikachu socks. So that's, yeah, that's, that's all. I also got some cookies, but I ate those. So that's everything guys. That's everything that I bought in Japan. That's everything that came back in my suitcase with me. So it's, it's a very, very different haul to the last time that I went. I came back with a lot more clothing last time. Not as many knickknacks, but I got more handbags and things like that. And I think I got more food last time too. I came back with a heap of lollies, but this time it was mostly little twin stars and Hello Kitty. So I definitely recommend when you're in Japan, stop in as many 100 yen stores as you can because there's always something different no matter where you go. You might think, oh yeah, it's just another Daiso. But I'll tell you what, every Daiso has different stuff. Like every single one of them sells something different. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. Let me get Archie for the, for the outro. So don't forget to check out my Harajuku video. I've got a giveaway going on there. So you just have to drop a comment on that video and let me know which of the items you'd like to win. I also have a bunch of really fun Japan videos coming up soon, like the Fox Village and the Rabbit Island, Osaka Universal the 100 year old Starbucks in Kyoto. So keep an eye out, maybe subscribe if you'd like. Ah. You can find me on Instagram at Pretty Pastel Please and you can find Archie at Archie Eclectus. So thank you guys so much for watching. Say thank you, thank you. No, don't tell me, tell them. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.